trial. Dear Bill, I've been watching the Depp trial, Johnny Depp trial, every day on YouTube in the background while working. It's awesome, Bill. Watching someone get caught lying is super underrated. Oh, I heard he is absolutely destroying her. Um, I'm too big a Johnny Depp fan to watch that. I love that guy, and I just, I, you know, I don't want to hear all this personal details. But from what I've seen, the guy is destroying. And what's great about this is if he really does expose this woman for lying, I'm wondering all of these people that, you know, just accepted her lies about him if they're going to apologize somehow because they publicly trashed him. It'd be nice if they then publicly apologized and said maybe next time we won't jump to conclusions. Um, anyways, he goes, it's an awesome, Bill. Watching someone get caught lying is super underrated. Having someone who has gone on the record as saying one thing and then having proof that the other happened is so fulfilling. On top of all of it, you get Johnny effortlessly throwing that Hollywood charm around the <laughs> the courtroom. I'd love to have it on vinyl. I got to be honest with you. My good buddy, Paul Verzi, has been watching it. He just keeps calling me up. He goes, are you watching this? He's like, Johnny is absolutely destroying her. Um, you know, I've just heard like bits and pieces of that. It, it really does amaze me. Um how it just, the pendulum just does not seem to swing the other way. That all of these women's groups, that when they see a woman that lies like this, which really hurts their position, because there are women out there that are in a relationship that this woman evidently lied and claimed that she was in when she wasn't. And for someone to go out and lie about it hurts the people that are actually in it. So you'd think that they would cover this and they would also talk about like, you know, I remember a guy a long time ago told me, he said, if you're in a relationship with a woman, if she ever starts swinging on you, lock yourself in the bathroom. Lock yourself in the bathroom so, you know, she won't hit you anymore. It doesn't escalate and there's going to be no evidence of you at some point because you're going to have to get her off you. You know, she can be, look at this mark in my wrist when he, you know, because you caught her hand as she was swinging at you. You caught a wrist, then you're going to get in trouble. You know, you're wearing a ring. It leaves a mark. You're just fucking done, you know? It's like, no, I just grabbed her arms because she was swinging at me. No, nope, we have to take you in and all of that shit. Um, it just fascinates me that when there's just a clear example of something like this, that I think it really hurts feminism if they want more men to come along, that if they would actually trash someone like this, publicly the way that they would go after a toxic guy. Because, you know, I don't matter him going after a toxic guy. He's an asshole. I get that. But, you know, I don't know. For someone to be able to do, like if, if, if this really sh goes in the direction that everything she was saying was absolute bullshit and the level that this guy's career suffered and the amount of shit that happened to him, um, if it all just pans out of, with a whole, oh, yeah, Sorry about that. Like, that's how it's going to end. It just, it just doesn't fucking seem right. And you know what? It doesn't sit well with me. Um, so anyway, if I had the time, I would definitely, uh, I would be watching more of it. I mean, Verzi's losing his mind. Like, he's watching like a seven-game series. He thought it was going to be a seven-game series, but it sounds like Johnny's going to sweep, um, which makes me happy. You know? I like that guy. Um...